frog in here was making the rescue call to make a certain sound when they need help. So when they're getting grabbed by a tree snake or something, or squash, they can make a little yelp. So this is making a yelp and we located it in the sink, so I'm not sure how I'm going to open this, but we'll try. Darnie's is cold in here. I've gone up through there. So, I'll right, disconnect this somehow. So, I just pulled that apart. Now we'll turn this, <laughs> turn this on and try and flush out little froggy. I'm not sure what this stuff's in the sink is. There we go. All right, froggy about to get flushed. Work because I think the frog fears fears going down. So I'm trying to have to figure out a lateral situation to make this frog go want to go down. Try to fill in the sink up, creating a massive vacuum effect. Froggy, hang on for dear life. I'm gonna I'm not sure how this thing can come out. I've got some tools here, we're gonna try and twist it out if that doesn't work. Unthreading it, we're gonna cut it. See how we go. Pretty that is some seriously hard iron or whatever the steel, whatever that's that it took almost steroid strength and carbs. I think I had my rice and sugar today because wow, that's so strong. So I can bend it now. Here we go. Got the prison. So now, now the thing is, he, I'm not sure if he knows he can get out because maybe he's got the uh, Stockholm syndrome and thinks he's stuck. So I have to figure out now how to get him to coax him to come up. So this is very, very tame. It's not normally can be that so close to the, the frog. Normally they'd run down and hide, but yeah, he's, he looks pretty skinny as well. I could be spooning with Natasha right now, but instead I'm going to be spooning with this green tree frog. I can spoon. Here we go. It fits right in there. All right. Oh, here we go. I'm going to spoon. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Hear that? Oh, look how skinny he is. Damn. I'm going to feed you up some, some moths, buddy. Oh, so skinny. So skinny. There was a call for help. There was a call for help. Wow, these frogs are very unique and they'll call for help. Far out, that's crazy. This little uh, nursery here, it's sheltered from birds, etc. You can go in and out as well. It's not trapped in here. There's plenty of water during the sprinklers during the day. Also, plenty of moths and not many too many predators and cane toads around here. So, there you go, buddy. Welcome to the new home. Back. And uh, this is where he was. This is a little tree over here where another frog lives down there. So, got a little froggy buddy. It's actually a male and a female. It's pretty random. The grasshopper. He's just taking it. Wow. Uh -huh.